um, had a great game tonight. Uh, I think tonight was a, a, a good embodiment of the strides you've made from when you were first just a spot-up shooter to now being a completely well-rounded offensive player. Who do you credit most for your development uh, in the areas outside of just catching and shooting? Um, you know, I think it goes back to, you know, having a coach like Kenny Atkinson um, in the early days when I first got to Brooklyn. You know, the emphasis that they put on player development and making sure guys, you know, were complete players and they weren't limited to just one aspect of their game. Obviously, shooting is always going to be my strong suit, but lucky to just have, you know, great player development coaches and an emphasis on player development in the culture uh, like it is here in Brooklyn. Greg? Uh, Joe, uh, two-part question. First of all, what did you think when you made that bank three to open the period? And then, you know, how would you describe the urgency that you and Karis felt you know, taking over there in the middle of the fourth quarter? Yeah, the bank three, um, you know, it was a little bit of a lucky shot. You know, sometimes that's just sort of how the game goes and I'm fortunate to get that one to go. And then, uh, you know, there down the stretch, Karras and I obviously knew we had to be aggressive. So we put the ball in Karras' hands. He made a lot of plays for himself, but he also facilitated, was able to get downhill and, and create for other guys as well. Hey, Joe, it's Tom. Um, you and Karras and, and Jared all played big minutes tonight and you know, produced a lot of points. With the importance of this game, did you guys kind of anticipate that, that there was, you know, a lot of minutes for you and just uh, a lot of responsibility to, to win this game? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think you kind of go in, um, you know, you look at – these first two games that we had, um, the importance that, you know, obviously you, you're, you're competing, trying to win every game, but you look at the schedule and you got to be realistic about the ones that you know that you're, you're going to be competing, um, you know, for a lengthy bit of time. And we kind of anticipate playing a lot of minutes here throughout. You know, we're just in the position where we are just a little bit limited in terms of our roster. Guys are still trying to get incorporated to JV's philosophy. Um, you know, it's not an easy transition for a lot of these guys to come in, whether they've been quarantined for however long, come in, get practice reps, get themselves back into good basketball playing shape, and then pick up everything that, you know, we've been doing for a majority of the season. Um, you know, it's not a, an easy transition for a lot of guys. And so, you know, with that being said, there's a lot more um, on the shoulders of the guys that have been around. You know, uh, TL, Rody, uh, Musa, J.A., um, Karis, and myself. And Garrett, obviously. Alex?